Aces for Eric. Sire makes the call. And Brown Ball squeezes here. And Andy getting involved as well. With Queens, Aces versus Queens, and four bets already in the middle here. What a great spot for Eric. Andy is just in deep trouble here because we can see that Brown Bala has a queen in his hand. And Eric is going to put more money in here. His approach throughout the night has just been to pile in money whenever he thinks he has the best hand. Definitely not the worst strategy I've ever heard of. Eric now with 58,000 behind. And we're going to see a flop. So 46,000 already in the pot. This could be one of the biggest pots of the night so far. Very innocuous flop. Wouldn't mind seeing a small bet here from Eric. Goes with about a third pot here. 16,000. Andy makes the call. 78,000 in the pot, and wow, what a great run out for Aces. Just nothing getting in the way, really. Eric is about half pot behind. He set this up really well. Goes ahead and shoves. Much. And Andy's going to get a count. And as aggressive and unafraid as Eric has been so far tonight, this is going to be a tough spot for Andy to fold, I think. I'm sure Andy's not in love with this situation. Because of the preflop action, so many bets went in preflop. But Eric has played very aggressively. And Andy probably doesn't feel like he knows Eric's game incredibly well. It would be hard <laughs> to fault Andy for calling here, I think. Oh, wow. 41, It's the kind of 41, spot where it, it sure feels like Eric has aces, and yet it's still hard not to call. How much is it? 41.4. Some people in the chat wondering if Eric could do this with jacks or tens, and I'm kind of wondering the same thing as well. I would lean towards no, but I don't know that for sure. And Eric doesn't need to have jacks or ace-king of, of diamonds or some other random ace-king 
very often for calling to be profitable here. But probably the biggest clue is preflop. $21,000, I believe, went in preflop. And it was a five bet. Andy does call. Uh, 161000 in there. And Andy has one out because Brown Bala had a queen. And that is not it. And Eric wins a $161,000 pot on his first time here on Hustler Casino Live. That is the biggest pot of the night so far. The straddle? Um... Sixty-four hundred. Jacks for Eric. And what does Henry want to do here? The King Nine suited. He and Eric are competing for this last marker. Henry calls. And I'm not sure what Will is thinking about here. He's thinking about calling, I guess. Definitely not mandatory, but he's in there. 19,500 already in this pot. Pretty good flop for Henry. Pretty good. Could have flopped quads. But I guess we can't all get lucky. So Eric already drawing dead. Since Will had one of the jacks. Oh boy. Oh wow. Jack's full for Eric. King's full for Henry. No more jacks left in the deck. And these two players are the last two players involved in the stand-up game. So tons and tons of money. I mean, tons and tons of money were, were, was going to go in regardless, but what a turn card. Just a call from Eric. 62,500 in the middle. The brick on the river. And Henry is going to shove. Almost certainly. About three quarters pot behind. He does go all in. Snap call. And a $159,000 pot heads over to Henry. Jesus. I thought I was looking at King Jack for a second. Oh my god. Uh, 30. So Eric was one of the big winners tonight, but the, the wheels come off in a hurry.